pineapple under the sea. It's me, now please subscribe. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, as you know, you're probably here because Glitch, Band, Uptime, Robot, and all the other pinging services suck. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some methods of how to, like, keep your Glitch project online. And basically just how to have your Discord bot online for free. Because there is a paid plan that keeps it online for you on Glitch, but that's $10 a month, and you can basically get a real VPS with that. So first you're going to want to go to this github um, repository that I made. It's github.com slash whas on yt slash glitch247. I'll leave it in the description below. You'll come across this page. It basically has all the information, but I'll just go over it in this video. So the first method is transferring from glitch to replit. So what you want to do is, I just made like a really quick testing project here. You want to go here and make sure it's not private. You want to click here and then make sure it's public. And then copy the glitch.com slash edit part, not the actual thing whenever you click show, not that link, the edit part. And go to replit slash glitch. Um, you need an account for this. That's pretty self-explanatory. This is free. Oh, yeah, and you'll have to use replit as your IDE now, so you won't be really editing that much on glitch anymore. So import from glitch. And if you want, after it's successfully imported, you can either delete this project or just make it private again. It doesn't really matter if you do or not. So after that, make sure the language is uh, in Node, or whatever you programmed the, the Glitch project in. And Replit supports basically every programming language. It's not just locked to JavaScript like Glitch or HTML. Configure the Run button. That's pretty good. Just type npm start if it's not already there. Click Done. And then you can click this Run button at top. It's going to install all the packages. Once you're done there, it should go ahead and pop up. And this is, you can do a custom URL too if you want. It's just like Glitch. And there's your web page or your bot, whatever you were hosting, and it'll stay online 24-7 now, and you can just use Replit to edit it now. So if I wanted to, instead of sending the index file, if I just wanted to send just like, so if I just wanted to send boy, it doesn't automatically update like that. So you have to click the stop button and then click run again. And then you'll see it's updated. So that's pretty cool. Very simple, very easy, very nice. I forgot to say one thing. Replit does support Uptime Robot. And as you can see from on screen right now, they don't have any plans to stop supporting Uptime Robot. You can use Replit now and it's just like glitch. Uptime Robot works on it. You have nothing to worry about. Next up is the method that actually is using Replit as like a middleman between Uptime Robot and your project. So it's kind of like a middleman type proxy thing. And it'll let you continue using Glitch, but it is against Glitch's terms of service. I want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not responsible. If you do get in trouble for using it, make a backup. Do whatever you have to. Just make sure you don't get in trouble. <laughs> so go to the GitHub import page on Replit, similar to the Glitch one, but it's just slash GitHub. All these links will be in the description. And then click on import from GitHub. You want to put in the Glitch 24-7 link, the repository on GitHub. I'll obviously have that in the description because it has all the directions if you for some reason can't follow this video. Similar to importing from Glitch, you'll select the language. It should be good at automatically detecting it. And all of this is good, so just like done. So then what you want to do is go into the server.js file. You'll find this part where it's the pong function where it actually pings your Glitch projects. So if you're a Glitch project, for this example I'm going to keep example.com and example.word. You can do as many as you want to, but just don't do an outrageous amount, like 25 or something, because that might slow it down a little bit. Yeah, you can just click run, and there you'll have it, similar to the glitch import. And I'll show you guys how to set up Uptime Robot with Replit really quickly, since I didn't explain that in the last method. So go to uptimerobot.com, log in or sign up, whatever you have to do, and then just go to dashboard. And then click add a new monitor. And select HTTPS, do not select ping because that's going to mess it up. Enter like a keyword name, nobody else will see this but you, so that way you actually know what it is. So I'll just say replit testing. And just select this and control C or right click and copy, you know the deal. Paste that in there. If you want an alert contact, you can, but I'm not going to. And create monitor. You can close that. And it'll say 0% for the last for the first couple of minutes, but then it'll load and it'll um, eventually be up to 100 like all of these are. So yeah, that's basically it. After you have everything, you can just close out of it and it'll be online 24-7. Um, make sure you check Replit every now and then just to make sure your bot is actually doing okay. 
And, I mean, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Replit is just like Glitch, but better. So, you can host more than Discord bots on here. It's completely free. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodly-doo!